Dark Zombies 360 here, and that's their recommendation. It's Friday. It's the normal week. So yeah, guys, I'm bringing you some recommendation of Zer today, Friday. So yeah, I was only, I was only like right, I was right of two things of my Zer prediction video: the Exotic Ingram and the Master of the Third Man. That's what you have to watch my video, because probably I usually, I usually always get one to two things right. So the Eternal Warrior, I do actually recommend it for PvP. It's actually pretty good, more super energy for a non-guarding kills and a replenished health when you pick up an orb. It can be actually useful for Trota or I guess from some raids. And it's fun to use. And it looks it looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh provides unstoppable uh, for Fist of Havoc, so like somebody's trying to shotgun you. And I usually have the problem of everybody shotguns me while I do my super and somehow or something just kills me. And I'm still wondering how the hell that happens, but this just stops it by happening and all that. So yeah, I do recommend Eternal Warrior. The Mask of the Third Man. Uh, increases the melee attack speed. You punish health and you pick up a Norb. And Arc Blade attacks uses less super energy. Um, I kind of do and I kind of don't. I'm I'm really not sure if yes or no. So if you like it, pick it. If you don't, you don't. Because I'm really not sure. I'm not a hunter, so I wouldn't I wouldn't like I wouldn't even give you like bad suggestions on it. So yeah. But on the Starfire protocol, I actually do, I actually do freaking allow you, and I do recommend this because getting an additional fusion grenade and carry more. Wait a minute, carry more ammo for fusion rifles, and carry more ammo for heavy weapons. Heavy weapons are always awesome PvP, and getting additional fusion grenade is awesome because fusion grenade you stick them and then they blow up, and that's just amazing. So yeah, I recommend this for the warlocks. For the weapon, Thunderlord, hell yeah, I recommend this, man. This weapon is sick. It kills you in like the three to four shots automatically. It's arc, but counting that on, the 335 attack shit makes it easier. 38 in the mag, that makes it even better. The fucking impact, the fucking rate of fire, and the range. Awesome, man. The reload is amazing, man. This weapon fires faster than... Then more automatically the longer the trigger is held, man. And kills with this weapon increases reload speed for a short time. Hell yeah, I recommend this weapon, guys. Pick it up right now if you don't have it, guys. Pick it up. For, you know, exotic shard and for the exotic ingram. You should, um, what I recommend is you buying these and then you can buy, and then if you don't get that, you don't get lucky, then get the star fight protocol. That's what I usually do. Just to make sure that I'm not just wasting my strange coins automatically. So yeah, guys. All this, I, I swear, he does not have shotgun ammo. Please tell me, you fucking ass, he doesn't have shotgun ammo. That's okay. He brought some good, valuable stuff, sir. Our, our good friend. A good friend. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Like the video and comment down below for any questions, you guys. And tell me what you like about Zer. What did he bring today? This Friday, tell me what you like. Down below in the comments, guys, and like the video if you love Destiny and if you love Zer, what he brought today. So, yeah, guys, on the next video, I'm probably going to make a Zer prediction or some more awesome gameplay. Or I'm about to, I'm about to make, a, uh, I guess, a video showing you some important stuff of the Ticking Kings that just are coming out uh, this September 15, baby. Here we go. Pre-order if you haven't already. So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoy, and see you later. Adios.